Chapter 1. Computer Hardware Components A computer is a programmable machine. The two principal characteristics of a computer are 1. It responds to a specific set of instructions in a well-defined manner. 2. It can execute a pre-recorded list of instructions that means a computer is capable of performing computations at an extraordinary speed. Its processing power is often compared to that of a human brain. The computer system comprises of three units. Processing unit, CPU, input devices, output devices, central processing unit, CPU. The CPU, as its name implies, is where the data processing is done. Peripheral devices allow people to interact with the CPU. The part of the computer that executes instructions is known as the central processing unit. It has two parts. 1. Control Unit, CU. 2. Arithmetic Logic Unit, ALU. Control Unit. The control unit tells the computer system how to carry out a program's instructions. It directs the signals between the memory and the ALU. It also directs these control signals between the CPU and input, output devices. Arithmetic Logic Unit, ALU. The Arithmetic Logic Unit, usually called the ALU, performs two types of operations arithmetic and logical. Arithmetic operations are the mathematical operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Logical operations consist of comparisons. Internal memory. Internal memory is also known as the primary storage or main memory. Registers. Computers also have several additional storage locations called registers. Registers are special areas that hold data and instructions temporarily during processing. They are parts of the control unit and ALU, rather than the memory. Memory address. To locate the data or instructions in the main memory, the computer stores them in locations known as addresses. A unique number designates each address. Internal hardware. The hardware components that are installed inside the CPU are called internal hardware. Example, CPU, RAM, ROM, disk drives, motherboard, network card, sound card, video card, etc. Motherboard. A motherboard is the main circuit board of a computer that holds the most essential components of the computer system. The base of a motherboard consists of a rigid plastic sheet. The board is the mother of all components which acts as a single platform to connect all the parts of a computer together and allows them to communicate with each other. The components mainly attached to the motherboard are The processor or chip BIOS memory chips external storage controllers for video display and sound expansion slots for connecting additional circuit boards. PCI Peripheral component interconnect PCI serves as a connection between a motherboard and any externally connected hardware. Sound card. A sound card is a hardware component that is fixed either in an expansion slot or on the motherboard. It controls the input and output of the sound signals that is it receives and sends audio signals to and from the computer. Video card. The video card is an expansion card that is used to generate the video output to a display screen, such as a monitor, TV or projector. It is also known as a graphics card. CPU CPU is the main unit of a computer. It is alternatively referred to as microprocessor. It controls all the instructions it receives from hardware, internal and external devices, and software running on a computer. It is a small piece of a silicon chip placed into the CPU socket on the motherboard. RAM or Random Access Memory RAM or Random Access Memory is a type of memory that is available for the operating system, application programs and data in process to use when computer is on. It can be accessed randomly at any time. RAM is of two types, static RAM and dynamic RAM. It is a volatile memory which gets cleared as soon as computer is switched off. Example, RAM is like a blackboard that is constantly overwritten with new data. ROM or read-only memory. 
ROM or read-only memory is a type of memory from which we can only read information but cannot write on it. Data stored in ROM can neither be modified nor erased. A ROM stores the instructions required to start a computer. Example, ROM is like a page on which once written by a pen, the contents cannot be changed. Disk Drive A disk drive is a hardware component in a computer that enables users to read, write, delete and modify data on a storage disk. It is either a built-in or external component of a disk that manages the input or output operations of a disk. Disk drives are of several types, such as hard drive, CD and drive, etc. The most commonly used disk drive is the hard disk drive. Heat sink. A heat sink is fitted on the microprocessor chip, which is designed to disperse the heat generated by the CPU. It is made up of metal, such as a copper or aluminium alloy, and normally uses a fan to keep the processor cool. Ports. A computer port is a slot on the motherboard that acts as a point of connection between a computer and an external device. Cables of external devices like keyboard, mouse, printer, monitor, etc. are plugged into these ports to attach them to a computer. The placement of these ports may vary from computer to computer. Some of these ports are color-coded that makes it easy to identify a specific device to be plugged in them. Universal Serial Bus or USB Port USB port is used to transfer data and can also act as power supply for devices connected to it. Video Graphics Array or VGA It transmits data one bit at a time over a single wire. With the increase in use of digital video, VGA ports are gradually being replaced by HDMI and display ports. High Definition Multimedia Interface or HDMI port it is a digital connector that can carry high-definition video and audio. It also can send audio to different formats. Ethernet port An Ethernet RJ45 connector looks like a telephone line RJ11 connector. One mic port It helps plugging the microphone into the computer. Two line out It allows external speakers, headphones or other output devices to be connected to the computer. 3 line in. It enables a user to connect an external audio device to the computer.